Hello everyone, welcome back. It has been quite a while since I filmed an I watch TikTok so you don't have to video. And because it's been so long, I will remind you, the reason why I do these types of videos every so often is because I am aware that a good chunk of my audience does not watch TikTok videos. You don't have the TikTok app, you're not interested in TikTok. So I spend some of my day scrolling through TikTok, trying to find the most viral products, which usually are products that are brand new or they are products that have just resurfaced after many, many years like the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick. Sometimes I will come across videos of makeup tips and hacks, which most of the time I've seen before. Again, a lot of things are just recycled techniques. Anyway, my point is that I watch TikTok so that I can find those unique techniques and hacks that perhaps I've never seen before that I think would be helpful to my YouTube audience. And then I also like to try some viral products that actually interest me. A product will go off over on TikTok and you'll be just seeing the same product being reviewed over and over and over as you scroll. And it all starts because one person, usually one of two or three people, says that it's fantastic and everybody runs out and buys it. So I try to do my best to stay away from those truly viral products except when it comes to the mature content creators talking about a product, loving a product over on TikTok. And luckily for people that are over 40 and do watch TikTok, there are several creators over on that app that are in the same age range. Many of them are, like myself, former makeup artists that have spent a long time in the industry. And so I tend to listen to more of what they say than what the mega popular beauty influencers say. So this particular product, the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Effects No Filter Primer, has gotten some really, really good feedback from those makeup artists turned influencers that I was just referring to. One of them in particular, her name is Erica Taylor, and I'll put her name on the screen. She tried this on camera and it was very, very impressive. And I suppose I should tell you more about what this product is. It is called, again, the No Filter Primer, and I'm gonna put my glasses on and tell you all about it. And this claims to instantly tighten, firm, and blur the appearance of fine lines, pores, and imperfections. It has a universal tint that corrects the look of uneven tone for all skin types. So this contains something called Firm A Tight, a blend of skin tightening silicates and seaweed extract. 3% bar pull enhances the instant effect while hydrating skin and providing long-term anti-aging benefits. Elastiflex IQ helps improve the look of smoothness and elasticity over time. Easy to use for everyday wear and suitable for all skin types. Okay, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to follow the directions to a T. It says that you should not apply any moisturizer before this product. Your skin should be completely clean, free of any serums, moisturizers, makeup. So when I got out of the shower, all I did was pull my hair back, apply eye makeup clearly, but I have nothing on my face. And it says that we have to shake it well. Shake, shake, shake. It says, sparingly apply a thin layer to freshly cleansed dry skin. Remain expressionless. Product will dry within three to seven minutes. When your face feels pulled and tight, continue with makeup application. It does say that you can wear this product alone or under your makeup. I am going to try it under my makeup. So let's apply a thin layer. Actually, let me take a before photo. Okay, there's my before. And let's apply this thin layer. I'm going in sections to make sure that it is thin. I don't know if you're supposed to like focus it on certain areas. It's drying really quickly. Oh, that's too much. Oh boy, I'm gonna wipe some off. It comes out really fast. And I'm going to take the after pre-makeup and post makeup. Put a little bit 
here. Just the remainder. See what happens. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I feel like I did a real thin amount because I can already feel it drying. I'm supposed to remain expressionless and wait three to seven minutes. So I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick, come back in about seven minutes. All right, through the magic of editing, you did not have to wait the five minutes that I waited. I didn't feel like I needed to wait seven minutes because I feel like this is fully dry. It was feeling a little tight already because I did not apply moisturizer and that's how my skin tends to feel before I've applied moisturizer, even though I have oily skin. I am looking right here in this mirror and I have not taken a photo yet, the after photo yet, but I do feel like things in this area are a little bit less noticeable, like my smile lines. At first, when I looked in the mirror, after about a minute, I was not noticing any pore reduction, but now I do. And of course, not a reduction in the amount of pores, but a reduction in the appearance of the pores. So let's take that after photo. Okay, now I'll put them side by side. I go to my Photo Grid app and I will take this photo and this photo. And I get an ad again. So I got oh, oh now I can exit out of that. So this photo right here on my right is the before and then this photo on my left is the after. And I would say I can definitely tell that there is a reduction in the smile line for sure. The redness around my nose is reduced. And I feel like maybe my cheeks look a little lifted. Hmm, I'm zooming in. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. The pores look a lot better. A lot better. Wow. Okay. I was very, very, very skeptical of this product and I'm sure you are too. But now, I mean, yeah, this is why I do before and afters. It's so hard sometimes with our naked eye to see differences. So now I need to see if it will still look like this, if I'll still have that smoothing and lifting if I apply makeup on top. I do know that Peter Thomas Roth has another firming product for the under eyes that a lot of people loved, raved about. The problem with that from what I've gathered is that once you apply concealer over it, the effect goes away. So I'm anxious to find out if the effect is going to go away. Okay, I self tanned my body over the weekend and I got pretty dark in comparison to my face. So I am using a slightly darker foundation to match my body. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and I'm just doing a light layer and blending that all over. We'll do one half and then take a look. Okay, time to look very closely. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. I gotta blend a little bit more right here. Wow. That looks kind of flawless. Now this is a medium to full coverage foundation, so that does contribute to some of the flawlessness, but I do feel like this primer does something. Or should I say, I feel like it did something for me. Now, obviously this is just a first impressions video and I'm going to do my best to get back into uploading monthly favorites and fails videos. Last year I was pretty good about it. I did almost one a month about it. I may have missed maybe three or four months, but I'm going to try and do one every single month. And that is when I will update you on products like this. Okay, foundation is on. I am going to go apply the rest of my makeup 
and take some iPhone footage in natural light and you'll get to see what that looks like. All right, here we have some footage taken in natural light. Now I don't have my glasses on, but I think my skin looks pretty flawless. I mean, I keep looking in the mirror and going, is this my skin? I don't think it took 10 years off my face by any means, but I do think that it refined the look of my pores, that I look a little bit tighter. I just feel like it makes me look like I've been on a vacation, like I'm really relaxed, I don't have any stress, I just feel a little bit of a pick-me-up. I'm gonna use it daily for a while because I do want to see if I notice any of these long-term results and I don't see why I would use any other primer for at least the next week or so because I'm just so impressed with this right now and I want to give it a decent amount of time before I come back and give you my final verdict. But based off of today and what I'm seeing now, I would highly recommend giving this Instant Firm Effects No Filter Primer a try. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Reset As Makeup family. I do upload new content at least twice per week. I also post content over on Instagram and on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.